Hello my friends, today I'm going to be doing a project palette. I know it's been a little longer than it should have been, but we're gonna go ahead with it now. And for this project palette, I am going to be taking three weeks because I'm going to be out of town and I'm going to take one little palette for travel and then I have another bigger palette which we're gonna play with for a couple weeks. So, yay! Before I announce everything else, let me just tell you what we're gonna be playing with this week. Okay, right, did this like, show up randomly one day and then never to be seen again. I don't know what that was about, honestly. I just had so much stuff going on and I got the chocolate bonbon palette and I don't even know what happened, but I only used this a couple of times. What? Why? So this baby is getting love, okay? So I am so, so excited to play with all these bright colors for spring. Ah, let me just swatch some of these for you. Oh my gosh, look at these colors. Pink, purple, yellow, green, like this is amazing. It needs to have more presents. I literally just kind of stuck it in a bottom drawer and kind of forgot about it. Whoopsies. So yeah, I'm so excited to be using that for the next couple weeks. The other one I'm going to be using is the Tartlet Tees. So I've already filmed the Get Ready With Me that I'm going to be posting while I'm gone. And it's just a quick, simple look and so this one is what I'm going to be taking while I'm traveling just because it's going to be easy just to have like everyday shades that I can wear and not travel with this huge ginormous palette. So that's why I'm picking those two palettes. Plus I just really picked this up and I'm super excited to use it some more. All right, so let's get into quickly everything else I'm going to be using. So I thought it was time to bring back my cheeky sweet spot. I haven't used this in quite a while, probably since my first project palette. So many beautiful shades, has the hula bronzer in there. Smells like candy, you can't go wrong with it. So we're gonna be diving back into this. It has the Dandelion, Bella Bomba, Sugar Bomb, Rockator, Coralista, and Hula. For foundation, I'm going back to my NARS. I would really like to finish this up. And actually guys, I'm kind of itching to do a project pan again. Is that crazy? I don't even know. I don't know that I really wanna pan a palette per se, but I have items that I wanna do a project pan on. So if you guys would be interested in seeing a project pan, let me know and I'll pick some items to use for a project pan and I'll still do my project palette. And then I do have a palette picked out to pan later in the year. So for those of you guys who love like the panning community, like don't worry, I got you girl, there's still more gonna be coming. So if you wanna see project pan videos, one of the items being the SNARS foundation, let me know. Okay, for mascara, I'm going to be using this Touch Insole Stretch Text Mascara. I got this in the Sephora Beauty Favorites, so it's time to bust this baby out. I have used it a few times and I really like it. It's really lengthening, so I'm excited to use this some more. Because I've already got so many blushes, I need more. <laughs> I love picking blushes though, I just think it's fun. And plus, I'm gonna be doing this for, you know, three weeks, so we can have some more. So I've got this blush all day from MAC. I just thought a nice neutral non-shimmery blush would be good to throw in the mix. And then also Love Hangover Love Flush, this nice peachy blush. Let's swatch these for you. So peach and a neutral. So something else to throw in the mix there. Also for the last one, and I am wearing this today, is the Orchard Blush Stick from NYX. I saw this in my drawer and I was like, yeah, I need to give this some more love. It's got a nice pretty peach undertone with some shimmer. So if I wanted to pop this out a little more, I can, you know. <laughs> Alrighty, and then for highlighter, I've got three because a girl can never have too much highlight in her life. I try to pick some travel friendly things. Um, this is the Champagne Shadow, Pop Goes the Shadow from Elizabeth Mott. It's a beautiful highlighter, it's what I have on today and it honestly is very similar to Champagne Pop, so beautiful, and I'll be using that. Also, I've got Benefit High Beam, a little sample of this. This is kind of a milky pink shimmery highlighter, and I've got my Cella Highlighting Stick, so for those days where I want to do a little more contouring, I can use this. I'm also going to be playing with my e.l.f. contour palette and my ambient lighting palette. These. I used these before like a month or so ago and I really like these so I want to get these back out. 
For eyebrows, I'm going to be using my dip brow again. I want to keep using this and make sure I get use out of it before it dries up. It's not like close to drying up, but I just, I don't want to waste it, so I want to make sure I get plenty of use out of it. And then my Master Conceal, I'm still really, really liking this, so I'm going to use that this next little while. I'm going to switch up the powder and go back to my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm nowhere close to like getting pan on this, but I've kind of like de-domed it. Like, it used to be a dome, and now it's like flat. I'm like, oh, look, I'm making progress, so something I'm going to be using. Okay, lip products. I'm sure I'll probably incorporate more than this just because it's going to be a while, but these are the ones that I picked. I've got spring fever apparently, so I've got like all these fresh pinks. So I've picked this raspberry, oh, flirty and perky pink. This is a nice sheer wash of color. I thought this would be great on just vacation when you want something on your lips, but you don't really want like full on color, but you want to have some color on your face. And this is one of the e.l.f. Kiss Balms, so I've got that. Next, I've got the Makeup Revolution Salvation Velvet Lacquer. This is not something I take with me because this color is a little more high maintenance, but boy is it gorgeous, and I haven't used this since I first did my Makeup Revolution haul, so it needs to be used. Next, I have a good standby ColourPop Lippy Stick in Westy. This is a matte shade. And it's just a good like everyday shade for me. It's got a touch of the plummy color in it. Oh, this one right there. And I really, really like it. This one also is very similar. This is the Rose Romance from Pop Beauty. And it's lighter pink. It's what I've got on today than the Westie, but still kind of in that same color family. You can tell I'm filling the pinks. I've got Pepper from ColourPop. This is more violet toned. Oh my gosh, just looking at this color makes me so excited for spring and the fact that I'm going on vacation. I'm going to California, by the way. I haven't really said that, but no reason for not saying it. I just haven't. But, ah, love that. Well, let's roll that down. And then I've got Pink Mink from Elf. And this is definitely more in the coral family. Look at all these beautiful lip colors. I'm so excited. And I'm going to have to grab something else neutral because these none of these are neutral. This is a dash of pink from color, no, dash of pink from e.l.f. And this would be a great lip liner for that one, actually. Look how nicely those two will go together. Okay, let's find one more. I need something more neutral because all these are so pink. Um, ooh, let's go with this one. Okay, let's go with Naked Bud from MAC. We need some neutral in our lives, because if I'm using that Kat Von D, I'm probably going to be needing a neutral lip a lot. So let's throw this one in too. That one will be perfect. Alrighty, so that's everything I'm going to be using for the next two to three weeks. While I'm on vacation in California, and also while I'm here, I'm going to be loving playing with the Tartlet Tees and the Mavita Loca palette. Hopefully I will be inspired to post some looks on Instagram or something with this bad boy because it is bright action going on here. So we'll see what I can come up with. I hope you guys enjoy. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!